I was planning away on my maple hardtop for my bench, and this was so exciting, and then this happened. So I had the husband come out and take a look at it. Well, bummer. It's the uh, drive belt that broke. So brand new blades on the planer, but we had to order a new belt. Bummer. So while we're waiting for that belt to come in, I guess I can move on to other things. Welcome to Since I can't continue planing, I am going to take that end part and cut out where I'm gonna stand in it, in it. you know, this, this thing. And so it says to use a two inch Forstner bit, which I have in the drill here. All right, so my line and it's gonna be cut like that. So yay, let's do the other side. Well, it's kind of rough, but I got it cut out. Yay! So I'm looking at this, you know, it has all these drawers. Uh, so the drawer casing is what's next. It looks like I have to uh, do some dadoing and rabbiting and all that stuff that, yeah, okay. Okay, got that dado blade all set up, and I have my auxiliary fence, which I'm discovering is not long enough this way, but it's just gonna have to do for now. Um, so I cut my first board, and it has lots of tear out because it's going on the opposite way of the grain, I think, if plywood has grain, which I think it does. Anyway, um, lots of tear out, and I accidentally cut the wrong sides. Not the first time. The first time I cut the right side, and then I had to raise the blade a little bit because it wasn't thick enough. <sighs> so this is the correct side. This is not the correct side. So I'm not sure if I'm gonna have to recut this board or not. But anyway, I'm ready to cut the other ones. Yes. So I was careful to make sure that I was cutting the right side on all the rest of them. And I had to do two passes on each because of that short auxiliary board and it kind of was not real, sturdy towards the end, but it seemed to work. I'd gotten a tip from somebody before that said to like prescribe the line and it'll get rid of some of the tear out. So I'm gonna try it. That means I have to measure this distance, which is three quarter, and I'm gonna use this little big old thing. So I measured three quarter and I'm gonna use this owl or all. All right, think it's gonna work? I don't know, but I'm game to try. Hey, well, it definitely is better, so thank you. Cool. So here it is, scribing and not scribing. Crazy. Crazy. Next, it was time to change the dado blade. It's the dial kind or wobble blade, I think it's called. Anyway, husband to the rescue again, he changed that for me. So scribing worked great when I did that one edge, but now um, the, the measuring is more difficult. And so I, I tried to scribe, well, not on this one but on this one. Anyway, it's a lot of work to scribe. So if anybody has a better plan on scribing, I think I'll just do this and just you know, sand that off. I figured out a method and I cut the rest of those pretty easily and I think they're all pretty much the same. Okay, I'm cutting the rabbit on the top, bottom, and sides. And I'm using the um, half inch dado blade and I put a fence in there so I'm just using a quarter of it and I have it all measured out properly. I think I, I did a test piece. I did two passes again. I don't know why, but it turned out. It's working! Woohoo! <laughs> so 
I cut all the other pieces and this finished up everything that I needed to do for the dado and for the rabbiting, or, or so I thought anyway. Okay, now where I didn't scribe out of laziness, I'm going to sand off the fuzzies. Has been to the rescue again. These are the drawer runners that are nine six feet by half. What I said there was, because they are so small, I asked him to do it for me. Then I cut them to length. I needed about 26 or so of these things. All right, the directions are telling me to make some holes for the screws that are gonna fit to the inserts for the sides of these cases. So I measured it and it's supposed to be you know, not in the runner area. And when I measure it, it's, it's right in the runner area. So that means I'll have to put my runners in first and then make those holes because it has to go through the runner. But that shouldn't be an issue, right? Well, I suppose I'll see what happens with those screws and those screw holes later. So I just kept going. Some of the runners fit a little bit tighter than the others, but they all went in fairly well. I wasn't sure how I was gonna clamp these, so I just started stacking them on top of each other. So I kept on gluing and putting in the runners and it, they kept fitting real, real well. And then when I got the fourth panel all done, that is when I remembered something I had read in the directions. Rats, I just remembered that uh, they said something about putting a chamfer on these edges so that the drawers would be easier to uh, roll in. Rats. Well, I think I'm going to add it later. Now that they were all together, I had to figure out how to add some weight. Duh, those didn't work. So I decided to just clamp them. And that seemed to do the trick. And I have to remember before I assemble the cases that I have to drill those holes that were gonna be drilled into the uh, drawer rudder thing. So, yeah. Yeah. Awesome. It says to make sure that when you drill these holes where this screw is going to go through and go into the insert that it matches where I have the inserts on the stretcher. So that's cool. I'm going to check that. So I drilled the first hole. Okay, there's the hole I just cut. And there's the um, other side that I had measured according to the directions. So I'm putting it on here to see, okay, that's lined up with that hole. And yeah, that's not lined up at all. So I do need to move it to make sure it's like a seven and an eighth in the center of the hole away. Okay, I think that's doable. Let's try it. Let's check it again. Right on. By this time, these were dry, so I took the clamps off, and then I tried to do some measuring for the holes. Okay, I've been working on this all day, and I just can't seem to get any measurements figured out anymore. It's quarter to eight, and I'm just sitting there looking at it going, what? And I measured, and I was like, oh, I think I measured it wrong. So I think I'm gonna quit for the night. So it's super, super chilly this morning, although it's warming up now, yay. But I came out here to try to drill the holes. Ah, so difficult. I don't know why, but 
It was easier than when I was trying to do it that one evening, but uh, I drilled them. And so we'll just see. So now I'm gonna put these together so that I will be done with the cases. It took a few tries, but I finally figured out how to do this without having it fall down all over the place. I placed that quarter inch backing piece just to help hold it in shape, but I didn't do the final glue up on that yet. I really hope I drilled those holes in the right spot because that is going to depend on the mounting of these cases into the wrench. Guess I'll know soon enough. Yay! All right, now to glue the other one and then I'll have the cases done. Cool! And then I'll be able to work on the next part. So thanks for joining me everybody and we'll see you next time. I'm just gonna keep on plugging along. If you have any suggestions, please give them to me. Thanks.